The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Quality of product is essential to continuing success. An outstanding example, Lucky Strike. In a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. And year after year, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Lucky Strike presents The Man Who Knows, The Tobacco Buyer. Mr. Charles Belvin of Durham, North Carolina, has attended more than 2,000 auctions as an independent tobacco buyer. Not long ago, he said... At market after market, I've seen the makers of Lucky Strike buy ripe, mild tobacco. Take my word for it, that fine tobacco makes one swell smoke. I've smoked Luckies myself for 16 years. Season after season, independent tobacco experts like Mr. Belvin can see the makers of Lucky Strike consistently select and buy that fine, that light, that naturally mild tobacco. Remember, LSMFT, LSMFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And fine tobacco means real, deep down smoking enjoyment for you. So smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. Yes, next time you buy cigarettes, ask for Lucky Strike. So round, so firm, so fully packed, so free and easy on the draw. The Lucky Strike program, starring Jack Benny, with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few hours, the Jack Benny Troop will board a train for Denver, Colorado, where they're going to open the March of Dimes campaign. Trips like this require a lot of preparation. So let's go to Jack Benny's house in Beverly Hills, where we find Jack and Rochester packing. Gee, Rochester, I'm all excited about this trip. Me too, boss. You know, it's pretty cold in Denver this time of year. It sure is. Do you want to take your long ones or your short ones? Well, I better take the long ones. The sideburns will keep my ears warm. <laughs> now, um, let's see. Have you all my clothes packed? I think so. One pair of pajamas, one set of underwear, one pair of socks, one shirt, one handkerchief, and six boxes of does. That does is wonderful. You know, it does everything, you know. No, it don't. Little old Rochester has to do the ironing. <laughs> Well, Rochester, I like you to take care of my laundry personally because you do it better than anybody, you know? Well, that reminds me, boss. When you get back from Denver, you better buy another, uh, an extra Bendix. But, Rochester, why do we need an extra washer? The day after a baby came, down the shore signed up for our diaper service. <laughs> oh, good, good. That reminds me, I better send an application blank to Shirley Temple. <laughs> On second thought, I'll let naps take over while I'm gone. Now, Rochester, did you notify everyone that we're leaving town for a week? Yes, sir. I had them shut off the gas, the water, the phone, and the lights. And what'd you do about the milk? I sent the cow away to a rest farm. <laughs> That's fine. She ought to be loaded when we come back. <laughs> now, Rochester, finish packing because we don't want to miss the train. Yes, sir. You know, Rochester, every time I take a train trip, it brings back such memories. It was just about 10 years ago on a train when I, that I first met you. Uh -huh. You were a porter. I remember when we arrived in Los Angeles, you helped me out with my coat and whisked all the dust off me. Uh -huh. Then you picked up my bags, carried them all the way through the station and out to the taxi cab. That was 10 years ago. Now, if you'll give me my tip, I'll go home to my family. <laughs> Oh, Rochester, stop kidding. You know you like this job, and you've been very happy with me because... See who that is, Rochester. I'll finish packing. Yes, sir. <laughs> I sure like to tease the boys. He takes everything so serious. If he only knew, I wouldn't leave him for $100 a week. Not for $200. Not for $300. $300? Get behind me, Satan. <laughs> Nah, nah, I'd never leave the boss. But still, there's so many things you can buy with $300 that... Satan, stop pushing. <laughs> Sometimes I think I... Coming, coming! Hello, Rochester. Hello, Miss Livingston, come in. 
Has Mr. Benny finished packing yet? Uh huh. He's got a suitcase full of clothes and a trunk full of vitamin pills. <laughs> a trunk full of vitamin pills? With so many germs in the air, Mr. Benny's taking along his own iron curtain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is he now? Uh, he's in the room. You can go on in. Okay. Say, Rochester, I... oh, it's you, Mary. I'll be with you in a second. I just want to pack my tuxedo. Oh, Jack, you're not going to take that tuxedo. It's got a moth hole in it. Oh, nobody will notice the moth hole. I'll stick a flower in it. But, Jack, when you sit down, you'll smash it. <laughs> oh. Well, then I, I just won't sit down. Don't bend over, either. You'll look like Ramona. <laughs> Ramona? Yeah, I guess you're right. Remley would be following me around playing his guitar. Huh? <laughs> now, let's see. Jack, why are you taking a tuxedo to Colorado anyway? Mary, we're going to Denver for the opening of the March of Dimes. The governor will be there. I'll probably make a speech. See, last time I was at the March of Dimes campaign, I talked for two hours. You talked for three hours, but you had to give him the dime anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, now stop with those jokes. I gotta finish packing. Now, let's see, what else should I take? Ramona, da dee da dee da dee da dee Jack, Jack. Ramona, da dee da dee da dee da Jack. Huh? Look in the other room on your dresser. Isn't that cute? What? Rochester put a rose between your teeth. <laughs> teeth? What's the matter with your eyes? Those are two white combs. Say, Mary, are you all packed? Yes, I send everything ahead to the station. I hope they're careful with my skis. Are oh, you going skiing up there? Oh, sure. That's wonderful skiing country. You ought to try it too, Jack. Nah, I tried to ski once. My feet went out from under me and I fell flat on my face. Well, there's an answer to that, but I gave it to Judy Canova. <laughs> well, I'm glad you gave it to somebody. Now, let's see. Well, I think I've got everything I'll need. Oh, boss! What is it, Rochester? Don't forget your combs. You may have steak on the train. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Now, what else do I have to do? Oh, yeah, I want to go down to my vault and take out some money. Take out some money? Yeah. Can I watch, Daddy? No, no, I'll be right back. goes there? Friend or foe? Friend. What's the password? Oh, it's you, Mr. Ben. <laughs> That's right. How are you, Ed? Fine, fine. How are things on the outside? Oh, not so good. There have been thousands of cases of Virus X in Los Angeles. Hmm, I've never heard of that before. Virus X? No, Los Angeles. <laughs> Oh, well, Los Angeles is a city that's been built since you've come down here. Don't you remember, Ed, when I first brought you out here, that little adobe hut down near the plaza? Yes, yes. Well, that's now renting for $4,000 a month. <laughs> of course, Ed, Los Angeles is a big city now. It's the home of over three million men and women. Men and what? Women. Women? Squaws. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, I'm leaving town. I need a little money, Ed. I'm going to open the safe now. Shall I gouge out my eyes? No, 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 no. Ed. I, I, I... <laughs> no, Ed, I, I trust you. Now, let's see. The combination is right to 45, left to 160, back to 15, then left to 110. There. Give me your hand, Ed. I'll help you up. It's my own fault. I shouldn't have stood so close to it. Yeah. Now, let's see. I'll be in Denver a week. There, that ought to be enough money. 
Well, see you later, Ed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, say, Mr. Benny. Yes? Do you mind if I shave? I'm stepping on it. <laughs> oh, why bother? You'll only have to buy clothes, you know? So long, Ed. <laughs> Jack, did you make enough money? Well, sure, Mary. Now all I have to do... Hello, Miss Livingston. Hello, Mr. Benny. Oh, hello, Dennis. <laughs> Al, it's good to see you again, kid. We missed you last week. We sure did. How do you feel, Dennis? All right, but I sure am tired. I pushed my car all the way over here from my home in Van Nuys. You pushed your car? Why? The motor's broken and it wouldn't wa- run. Well, if your car doesn't run, why didn't you leave it in Van Nuys? Then I wouldn't have any way to get home. (laughs) Uh, You take him, Jack. I lost my round. Kid, everybody in the cast was sorry that you were sick last week. Boy, did I feel awful. I had a temperature of 102. 102, eh? I know what you went through, Dennis. You know, I was sick, too. How much temperature did you have? 101. Ha! (laughs) Ha! Dennis, stop being silly. Oh, by the way, Mr. Benny, I want to thank you for sending your doctor over to see me when I was sick. Oh, for heaven's sake, Jack, are you still sending that horse doctor to people? Mary, I wish you'd stop talking like that about Dr. Nelson. He's not a horse doctor. He is a horse doctor. He is not. He cured Dennis. Didn't he, kid? Yeah. Well, I've got to go now. It's time to eat my oats. (laughs) Now cut that out. Dennis, how long were you sick? For over a week. My father had to stay home and take care of me. Your father? Dennis, why didn't you have a nurse? With a temperature of 102, I didn't trust myself. (laughs) Look, Dennis, we better stop this talking and hurry. The train leaves for Denver at 7 o'clock. Oh, by the way, Mr. Benny, how many weeks are you going to stay in Denver? One. Ha! (laughs) Go ahead, Mary, it's your round again. Oh, no, Jack, you can have him. I don't want him. He's too much for me. (laughs) Well, I'm not going to take any chances. Dennis, have you got a song prepared for the broadcast? Yes, but my doctor told me not to sing. I have laryngitis. Well, Dennis, you have laryngitis. Why aren't you whispering? Why, it's no secret. <laughs> I didn't mean that. You know, Dennis, when I was sick, the doctor came to see me twice a day. How, how often did he come to see you? Once. Ha! <laughs> That's telling them, Mary. Well, look, Dennis, we got a lot of things to do, so you better run along. Okay, see you later, Mr. Benny. What a kid. Say, Mary, are you ready to go at the station? Yes, Jack, and the taxi's waiting out front. Good, good. Come on, let's go. Rochester left already with my baggage. up ahead. Yeah. You know, Mary, it's so much better coming down in a taxi. They can take you right down to the main entrance. Okay, folks, you can get out here. (laughs) Get out here? But, driver, we're a block away. Why don't you take us right to the station? Well, no, I... I never take anybody to the station. Why? I can't stand saying goodbye. Stop with that nonsense and take us to the station. Imagine a taxi driver being so sentimental. Can't say goodbye. Yes. How can a... Whoops, a dollar (laughs) sixty. Gee, I didn't think we lived that far from the... Okay, folks. Here you are at the Union Station. 
That'll be a dollar sixty. Now, here's your money. Come on, Mary. So long, driver. <laughs> Goodbye, Mister. Take care of yourself. Have a nice trip. Oh, for heaven's sake! Come on, Mary. Let's go. Goodbye, lady. Have a nice time. Take care of yourself. I will. I don't know why people have to go away. I knew this was going to happen. I didn't want to come to the station, but he made me do it. He made me. Do it. <laughs> I, I never saw such an emotional taxi driver, you know Oh, well, I'm glad he's gone Now, let's see Oh, boss, boss Oh, there's Rochester with all my bags Rochester, are you sure you didn't forget anything? Oh, no, boss, everything's here One trunk, one valise, a violin, a duffel bag, and a birdcage Birdcage? Ah, oh, uh, hello, Polly Hello Jack, you mean you're taking your parrot along to Denver? Well, Mary, I think I should. I'm taking her on this trip to forget. Forget? Yeah. That carrier pigeon, you know, she, she was in love with was transferred to the Mediterranean. <laughs> she seems so... There's just one place for me near you. <laughs> forget it, Polly. He'll be back. Um, come on, uh, come on, Mary. Let's, uh, let's get in the station. Train leaving on track five for Anaheim, Azusa, and Cook, come on down. Gee, I'm glad we got here early. Yeah, but I feel so silly, Jack. Do you have to carry that parrot? Well... Attention, please, attention. All passengers going to Anaheim, Azusa, and Cucamonga, please validate your smudge pots. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Let's see if we can find the fellow. Oh, oh, there you are, mister. I've been looking all over for you. Wait, you're the taxi driver. I thought you left. I had to come back. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Take care of yourself. And don't forget to write. See, Mary, he does hate to say goodbye, doesn't he? <laughs> goodbye, mister. Goodbye, lady. Oh, why do people have to go away? <laughs> come on. Mary. Mary. Mary, let's get out of here, will you? People are looking at us. Silly guy. Now, look, I got our reservations for the Pullman, but I, I better go over and get the tickets. There's just one place for me near you. Quiet, Polly, quiet. Oh, look, Jack, there's Phil. Where? Oh, yeah. Hello, Phil. Hiya, Jackson. I thought I... Well, hello, Polly. Hello. <laughs> Phil, stop breathing on us. What are you doing here at the station anyway? I thought you were taking a later train. Well, I am. I just came down early to check some of my luggage, but I still got some more packing to do. Oh. Well, by the way, Phil, it might be pretty cold in Denver. Is your coat checked? Uh, yeah, I... Ask me that again, will you, Jackson? I said, is your coat checked? No, it's blue serge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harris, it's too bad you ain't president so you could be on all four networks. <laughs> Phil, the only chance you'd ever have Pardon be... me, aren't you Phil Harris? Oh, I sure am, honey You better take a good look while you can Because I'm going to be out of town for a whole week, baby <laughs> Oh, I knew it was you, Mr. Harris May I have your autograph? Uh, well, uh, watch this, Mary Oh, please, Mr. Harris, give me your autograph Uh, well, uh... This ought to be good, Mary You know, he can't write his own name <laughs> <laughs> I know Come on, Mr. Harris, your autograph, please uh, uh, look, honey, I ain't got no pencil, but here's something better than my autograph. How do you like that? He gave her a lock of his hair. <laughs> you better be careful. That's what you used to do. Yeah. <laughs> all four networks, all four networks. <laughs> Quiet, Polly. Say, honey, would you like this fella's autograph, this man with the parrot? Well, I don't know. Who is he? Frank Buck. <laughs> Mary. Well, uh, uh, Miss, uh, I happen to be Jack Benny. Oh, well, would you sign Frank Buck anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Frank Buck Benny. There you are. Thank you. Well, so long, Phil. I'll see you in Denver. Okay, Jackson. So long, Libby. Goodbye, Phil. 
Hey, Jack, why isn't Phil going with us? Oh, he's got some business to take care of with his own show, so he's going to take a later train. Attention, please. All passengers for Anaheim, Azusa, and Cucamonga will have to walk. We lost the train going through Santa Anita. <laughs> Rochester and his lousy tips. Gosh, Jack, look what time it is. Yeah, I hope this ticket window isn't too I far. say, old champ, uh -huh. begging your pardon and all that sort of rot, could you inform me as to the location of the information booth, please? Well, uh, now, I'm not sure. I... Well, perhaps, old fellow, your daughter would know. No, this girl, uh, <laughs> this girl isn't my daughter. Oh, I don't mean her. I mean the little one with the feathers. <laughs> That's a parrot. You see? Well, I say, old boy, did you sit on the egg? There's such a resemblance. <laughs> Look, mister, I don't know where the information booth is. Well, cheerio, bub bubble gum, and all that sort of thing. <laughs> what is there about me? Everybody walks up to me. Oh, Jack, Jack. Oh, Jack, here comes Don. Well, hello, oh. Jack. Hello, Mary. Hello, Don. Don, I was just going over to pick up my Pullman ticket. Have you got yours? Well, I certainly have, Jack. I'm in lower nine. Don, you could have saved yourself some money by taking an upper. But I like to be in a lower. After the first bump, you're there anyway. You're not kidding. <laughs> Say, Don, I hope you brought the quartet with you. Uh, I don't want them to miss the train for Denver. Well, here they come now, Jack. Oh, yeah. I bet they're all excited about the trip. Oh, <laughs> huh? they sure are. Hello, fellas. Hmm. <laughs> Don, are they happy that they're going away on the train? Are they? Just listen to this. Don, not at the station. We're Colorado bound. We're lucky strikes are smoked the whole year round. Cause they're the bestest little cigarette. You can bet. Men who know tobacco best will tell you that. So let's be on our way to Denver, Colorado, USA. We know a certain man will be there soon. Who? Effie Boone. We're Colorado bound. Just hear that choo choo sound. Ooh, ooh. Know that soon we're gonna come. Don, they're down. starting ooh, again. Ooh, and then we'll light down. They're going crazy at the station. Boys, be quiet. I want to hear the announcement. That may be our train. Oh, 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 oh,
My wife? Oh, no, no, don't deny it. I know you just got married. You're still carrying the flowers. Look, this bouquet of flowers... Why don't you throw it? You're darn right I'll throw it. There. Whoops, I caught it. Wait till the girls hear about this. <laughs> Look, mister, look, mister, look. Will you do me a favor? Look, give me two tickets for Denver, Colorado. That's all I want. That's all. Yes. See, two tickets. That's all I want. Two tickets for Denver, Colorado. Uh, do you have your baggage all taken care of? Yes, yes, I have. Well, it may be cold in Denver. Is your coat checked? Well, I... <laughs> oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, would you say that again, mister? Say what? Is your coat checked? No, it's blue, sir. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Attention, sake. please, attention. The Santa Fe, California, on come track to this seven, station going again. to Denver, is ready to leave. Oh, oh, my goodness. Hey, give me those two tickets to Denver. Quick. Jack, hurry, hurry. Coming, Mary. I'm coming! Coming! Wow. Well, I made it. Oh, boy, what I went through to get these tickets. But we're on our way. Well, come on, Jack. Let's go in the dining car and get something to eat. No, no, Mary, no, no. I'm too tired. I'm going to my room and lie down. She'll be good to stretch out and... Wait a minute. There's somebody's clothes hanging up on my hook. What's this in my bed? <laughs> hey, you! I told you I hate to say goodbye. I, I tried to break away, but I couldn't. Uh, don't cry, I'm coming back. It's all your fault. I didn't want I'm to I'm only going to, to Denver. But you made me, you made me, you made me. But I'm coming <laughs> back. Oh, nuts. Hey, Mary, I'll join you. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the rarest privileges anyone can have is to be able to say, I saved a life. By now, we all know what is meant by the word care, C-A-R-E. This nation's help in alleviating the food shortage in Europe has saved thousands of lives, so let's keep on sending our contributions to C-A-R-E, care, care New York. Let's give again and save another life. CARE, C-A-R-E, CARE, New York. Thank you. Now, Jack will be back in just a minute, but first... Quality of product is essential to continuing success. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. L-S-M-F-T. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And fine tobacco is what counts in a cigarette. Remember what happens at the tobacco auction? At auction after auction, independent tobacco experts can see the makers of Lucky Strike consistently select and buy that fine, that light, that naturally mild tobacco. American. Lucky Strike presents The Man Who Knows, the tobacco auctioneer. Mr. Thomas Ray Oglesby of Winterville, North Carolina, has sold about 300 million pounds of tobacco at auction. Recently, this veteran auctioneer said... At all the markets I've ever attended, I've seen the makers of Lucky Strike buy fine tobacco. Tobacco you just can't beat for real smoke and enjoyment. For my own smoke, I pick Lucky's. Smoked them for 17 years. So, for your own real, deep-down smoking enjoyment, remember... L-S-M-F-T. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. Yes, next time you buy cigarettes, ask for Lucky Strike. So round, so firm, so fully packed. So free and easy on the draw. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to listen to the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show on Sundays and a day in the life of Dennis Day on Wednesday. Next Sunday night, we'll be broadcasting from the Civic Auditorium in Denver, Colorado for the March of Dimes campaign. So I hope you'll all be listening. Good night. <laughs> This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.